Welcome to ASMTG, and if you're unfamiliar with my content, I post standard best of one content Monday through Friday. And if you haven't already done so, please hit that like button. Especially when these new sets come out, it helps us out a ton. Helps with that YouTube algorithm. It shows some people are watching, some people enjoy it, and then they're willing to push it out to more people. So it's free to you, half a second of your day, and helps us out all a ton. So please get in the habit of doing that. I know I often forget as well. Today, we're gonna go with the Merfolk combo. I wanna get this in nice and early, before everybody knows about it and everybody's ready for it. So if you don't know what this combo is, we have a new card in Forensic Research, a little expensive, three mana for a one three, doesn't look all that good. And if it wasn't for its ability, untap another target permanent you control. So the idea is we need to get two of these on the battlefield in some way, and we have the Deep Root Pilgrimage, which whenever one or more non-token Merfolk you control becomes tapped, create a one one. So then the idea is if you have two on the battlefield, you're going to tap one to untap something. You use the other one to untap this. And now we've made two one ones and now we have one untapped. You tap that one, you're gonna make a one one and then you untap this one and you just keep going back and forth and you get unlimited one ones. Now there's only four of these obviously in your deck because that's all you're allowed. So how are we gonna find this? Few ways. Number one, most of our creatures on here have explore or we find map tokens to explore or we're gonna use our schooner and we're gonna explore. So we're gonna be able to dig through our deck and find some of our threats. We also are gonna play with do two of our Deep Fathom Echoes, which says at the beginning of the combat on your turn, it becomes, or one, it explores, helps us find things. Then you may have become a copy of another creature you control in the end turn. So if we already have one of these, now that's the same thing as having two. The other nice thing is with all the explore, we could toss one of these into our graveyard and with our soul cauldron, now we could exile that and now any one of our creatures could become with the same ability of the forensic researcher. So lots of little fun ways. Then I added a spicy little hide in plain sight, which I don't think necessarily should belong, but it's a new card, we gotta test it out. Realistically, I think you should go with a third Deep Fathom Echo and a third uh, Soul Cauldron, just make a little bit more synergy, make it more likely to find it. But what hide in plain sight does is look at the top five cards of your library and you cloak them. So. I could hopefully maybe in the top find, find that second researcher, find that echo, and then the following turn, then you flip them up for their mana cost, and then that's also a way to do the combo. And I'm now looking five cards deep. So maybe this could be beneficial, it could be used while, it's a new card, we have to test it out. It's a rare, right? So I wouldn't say jump out and actually craft this thing. Make sure you stay to the end of the video where I give you my final thoughts and what changes I might make with it, but we have to test these new cards in these first few weeks. These first couple of weeks are not necessarily about playing, playing the best decks, the most competitive decks. It's about trying out new cards so we really know what things are gonna do well in the format and what won't. Save your wild cards, let us figure these things out a little bit and talk about it. And when you see something that really excites you or is really popping off, then of course, that's when we wanna craft it. But there's gonna be all sorts of cards that maybe we have these good ideas on that just don't pan out. And I think this happens to be one of them. A couple wild cards I think you're gonna be able to save. Also, make sure you stay at the very end of this video and and that's where I'm gonna let you know what jiu-jitsu belt this deck deserves. I'm a jiu-jitsu black belt and that's how I rate all my decks, okay? From white belt to black belt, letting you know how competitive I think it is, how well it's going to end up doing on ladder and which decks are gonna kind of push you up into mythic and high mythic. So let's go ahead and jump on the ladder and see if we can hit this combo. All right, here we go. We got part of the pieces we need assembled. So let's keep this. We love having the one drop, so immediately we could start just making our, our, our Merfolk tokens. And on the play, so this is looking real good. Uh, I'm gonna say no, we're looking for that combo as soon as possible. Totally fine keeping our opening hand to help find things, grow a squad, alternate win con. All right, here we go. Let's get this combo working. Swing in for two, make a one one. And the nice thing is, oh, I guess not, huh? Hmm. I'll still be able to have the opportunity to brew to Cathar this. Oh, we got control we're up against. Oh boy. All right, so now we got to get this out. Yeah, we'll swing in with both. If they want to double block, that's fine. So now at least we'll have a counter up we could use. Will we be able to do enough damage to them, though, is going to be the question. Yeah, okay, so they do double block there. 
I think that's smart. Just cut off our one ones being made. We need to find our Merfolk Lord as well. That would be huge. Okay, so no temporary lockdown is even possible. Destroy evil. Oh boy. I was not expecting to see that. All right, because of that, I think it's just time to get out one more creature, right? We have to put some pressure on them. This is not a big enough battlefield with just one counter spell sitting behind. Uh, that's good. And the creature land will be huge in this matchup as well. Okay. So to not look fishy with the counter spell, we're gonna play the land, we're gonna play the sentinel, we could counter something then as well. Swing in. Now they're gonna shoot for the sunfall and we get the counter out. So just good Simic Merfolk we got going right here. No combo. We got close. All right, select value, put X, pay zero. Wait. Put X counters on target creature control, then counter up to one target spell unless the controller pays mana equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. Okay. Choose a creature. Target spell. All right, first time using that, so I had to make sure we did all of that correctly. All right, creature land. And that, oh yeah, keep that on top. And so that should be enough next turn. All right, so we swing in. If they have another wrath, fine. But we have our creature land to be able to finish them off. So we should be good right here. This is exactly why creature lands, when you're going against any type of control deck, are just so valuable. You get them right to the point of almost killing them. If they have the sweeper and we didn't have it, we would just be doomed. All right, let's swing it in. GG's. First game down, no combo assembled though. We gotta keep playing though until we hit this combo. And here we go, game number two. We'll keep it, we need to do some aggressive exploring, but I think just having the one drop is more important. Right, we wanna start getting this done as soon as possible. Start building up that board. And last game, that's exactly what we needed, right? We built up that board, used the counter spell when need be, but now against humans, that would be a little trickier. All right, so we'll swing in. We'll see if they just want to take it. Okay, they do. Now I'm going to probably have to leave the man up because their three drops are really what I'm worried about. Mono White Human, super tough. This is the one deck our uh, Mole God deck lost to. <sighs> wow. Wow, that's tempting. Um... I think we have, I mean, right, we play it. We would get a couple one ones. Too risky. Yeah, I'm gonna play this and just risk their big bomb of a, a three drop. Maybe they miss their third land. Uh, they don't, okay. We'll see how bad this is for us. Maybe contemplating a Brood of Cathar. I mean, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for me. Only problem is next turn, if I play, right? It's gonna be hard to do counter spell and play this only because all I have is one power. Okay, we like that. Ah, don't like that. See what they are able to find. Okay. Vanguard though, that whole squad just keeps getting pumped up. I think we're gonna have to just sacrifice him. Mm. 
Might as well get in for one as well. So he'll block the non-token, but I just think pumping out a bunch of tokens here is worthwhile. Oh my gosh, he blocks the token. Oh, we love that. That's gonna be another free attack for us. So now if they try and do a Brutal Adeline, something like that, we can counter it. But I think they're just gonna double drop, yeah. And I think the Vanguard now, it's worthwhile to counter that. We don't need everybody to get even bigger. Yeah, okay, that, that'll go. All right, so pay zero. Select, yes. Target creature, target spell. It's a lot of target, targeting for that one. We did it right last time to counter their Sunfall. Okay, they're gonna go, no way they're in. Wow, I'm surprised they did that, okay. So we block right here and we just, yeah, we might as well do the chump, right? I think so. Just save some of that damage. Okay, that's, that is interesting. This will be a nice little sneak attack here. Swing in with both. See how they decide to block. Yeah, they're not gonna block anywhere. All right, so we'll get the extra damage then. I think they obviously were able to just sniff that one out, but so probably smarter just to attack there. We would have had a nice three, four blocker back. This is now going to become a, oh, that's right. Cause that gives the bonus. Okay, okay. So that's gonna be a four, four. That could be a three, three and we have no, oh boy. All right, now we're definitely looking in trouble. I would, yeah, full send there. I think we're just gonna block like that. I just don't know how we're gonna be able to come back from this one. Ugh. Four, five. So we need six toughness. So we're gonna have to put it here. Is that even worth it? Now we, we just really have to do better. Okay, and then we suicide you in to get a couple more. We're starting to stabilize maybe a little bit. We're at eight. We have no good way of getting through and we don't have our combo piece together yet. All right, we still end step. We'll just keep the land. It's not, it at least makes them think we might have something. So they could shoot one of these. Bad attacks right now. One Brutal Cathar, though, is going to put me in really bad shape. And right now, I'd say... Ah, speak of the Brutal. All right. Uh, now they could do a full send on us. Well, they won't send with vanguards. Okay. I think, I mean, we just have to start doing our blocks. Right, clear that field out. Now we're in a bad situation though, because if we don't top deck a play, oh, Soul Cauldron, Soul Cauldron, that will play. Swing it in. No, no need to pump anybody up right now, so we'll just end step. Then we could pump one of these up if we need. I think it's probably gonna be our Spelunker. We still, oh my goodness. Are right, they putting the pressure on? Well, man, if they full send now. Oh, brutal. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's 
It's gonna have to be my tapped one, otherwise I'm just dead. So now I can block all three things. And then I would at least get my creature back. And I would be able to take out three of theirs. So we'll take five. They decide to do a full send here. And okay, they do. All right, so we're taking five. I think we're still dead though, because we're at three. Oh, good top deck right there. Okay, let's put it right here. Nope, you gotta go. Another land. Unfortunately, right, we can't tap anything yet. Oh, okay, that hurts. So if they have a Brutal Cathar, we are technically still alive. Gotta let that go. Okay, interesting. I guess I didn't pay attention to the power level of this. Can blast it. So that really hurt missing. They're gonna have to block though. We'll see how they decide to block before I put on the counter. So you double block to kill one. I'll still be able to kill both of theirs. Wow. I mean, we have now taken advantage. Our deeper pilgrimage gave us enough time and it looks like they're going power two or less. Okay. So we could take out their whole board. Make sure, make sure, make sure, yes. Okay, and then we have two map tokens to make sure we have a hit next turn. And they have to find something. Schooner, not good enough. Uh, I'm gonna say no on that also. Man. All right, we end step. So at least a Brutal Cathar can't get us now. Oh, and they just missed. Oh wait, no, off the top. I forgot about that, nice. So that was my bad. I should have taken the counters out and shot that. All right, let's do it now. Uh, nobody does anything here for us. All right, we're still way ahead though. And now we have the counter spell that will finish things off. Forced to block where they're dead. And whatever they try and play, we counter. So we did mess up. We could have ended the game this turn. We just delayed a little bit. But what a victory this one is. Being able to take down mono white humans. And it was looking really bad. And we didn't get to counter. Little sloppy gameplay on my part. Really trying to figure out this Merfolk deck. But we are 2-0 with it right now. So hopefully gameplay gets better and we just keep on rolling. And I still want this combo to pop off. All right, we got Hank the Tank here in uh, my third game. However, as soon as I get this combo to go, that is going to be my first game in the video. So you'll have a good idea of how many games it actually took me to get this to work. All right, so we love, mm -hmm. we need more lands. We have one of those, so get rid of it, right? Because we have the Soul Cauldron. We can aggressively start exploring to start putting our combo piece together. 
Okay, great. So now we have a good blocker. Find the blue. We want to explore. We want to drop every single turn here. Just have a nice curve out. Finds the land. Might as well attack for two, because I know I'm not going to block, right? They leave up any sort of mana, or they have a play with fire. It's just a bit of a blowout. Let's go ahead and just get our damage in while we can. Yep, because that's exactly what they would have done, and we know we can't block. So they had to play with fire anyway. And a monstrous rage. All right, big damage. Glad they got rid of that. Ooh. Right, double drop next time. Yeah, let's go this way. I think just a little smarter. Swing in for one. Once again, there's no good blocks here. Yeah, we'll take this again. Oh, five damage. Nice. Okay. Another soul cauldron. Let's keep getting our creatures out. That's not bad. Is it good though? Eh, we'll keep it. Yeah, no, we don't want a copy of anything. Swing in for the one again. Right, we should maybe we should be just building up some one ones whenever one or more we can't keep taking this can we we just have to block maybe i should have been exploring on each okay and a lightning strike we'll take that deal all right totally fine with us get the burn out of their hand these are going to be four fours though four fours that we could just chump though so let's go right here. Because we, we know they can't burn it, so we know the thing's going to be able to swing in. If we find a land. Oh, beautiful. So get the Soul Cauldron. And we're going to wait on this in case they want to try and flash one of these things or bring one of these back if they also find the land. All right, so let's swing in. Now we have our good chump blocker because otherwise they would be really tempted to swing in with their creature land, bump it up to a 4-4. Four, four. Wait until the end step. Okay, still blocking situation. Okay, there is part of the combo. It's a good one to chump block with. Maybe we play both things. It doesn't make for a big creature, but it's getting me closer to the combo that I need. Wait, let's cancel that first. Let's go and swing in first. So now we have a multitude of blockers. Monstrous Rage is obviously the worst thing. Ooh, yes, please. Okay, here we go. We, we are about to have this combo assembled here. And we've slowed them down, so I don't think they're gonna be able to run through us. Okay, so they get into the air. Yeah, you make a 2-2, but that's easy to block. Interesting decisions. So block here, block here, block here. We take four. No, we'll keep this alive, right? So my graveyard. 
and they are done. Wow. 3-0 with this Merfolk combo deck, and that was going to be the combo. We just were able to get the victory before the thing actually came together. One drop into the two drop we want, and now we get to try out Hide in Plain Sight. See if this is any good. My assumption, my hunch is it's not. It's not going to help us all that much, right? This is obviously no collected company. If we actually had a collected company, that would be interesting in this deck to find all our combo pieces we actually need. There we go. Actually, do we, no. No, we're gonna keep this. Okay, we're gonna keep it. We don't have the Soul Cauldron yet, right? You have the Soul Cauldron. That's when you're gonna aggressively explore, but we don't have that. Uh-oh, nice. We got ourselves a little mirror. All right. Sucks. Get this down. I can't attack in. A two, three on turn two hurts us. So this is going to be an interesting little battle, right? If they're trying to go for the same combo we are, okay, tap land. Late game, this is going to cause us issues. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. We will attack into that. Yeah, no problem swinging into that. Just... They want to trade, that's fine. We'd love to leave up our counter spells. I don't know if that's going to be our smartest bet, though. Oh, oh my. Um, I think we have to wait a turn. Right? They have... Yeah, hmm. So we have five mana, right? We could do this, and then I suppose we can counter it. A zero, confirm. <gasps> oh shoot. Okay, 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 okay. So we have to pay two. Target a creature. Target a, wait, no. Okay, we messed that up then. Hold on. Shoot, that was a big, big mistake. I should have put my counters on. All right, so no attack now. So that, that was a huge mistake. Oopsies. Yeah, this card, I'm telling you, I'm having trouble with this repulsive mutation there. But that would have been sweet. So we should have had the 3-3. Three, three. We should have actually had that thing just straight up countered. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's go green. Untap. See if we could get this out. So if they have their own, oh, they don't. Okay, so now we leave up our counter spell because we have a 3-3. Three, three. All right, we pass and then we will be good after that. We'll be able to go our ultimate combo. 
I think we just counter that. All right, let's try this again. So counter. Because otherwise the counter's not going to be able to work later on. So we pay zero. Confirm. Target creature and that. Oh, oh, I'm so stupid. We can't counter things. Cavern of Souls. That's why we messed it up, everybody. <laughs> I just know all of you are sitting there screaming at me, yelling in the comments. Oh, I totally forgot about Cavern of Souls. Don't! Jeez, I'm an idiot. All right, all right. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, I still think we're going to be okay here, even with that bonehead play. Yeah, I don't, I, I think, I thought I was just messing it up. I can't, oh my. This is one of those games, right? Where you would love to hide it and don't show it. And I know most people do that, but I make those mistakes. I show them. All right, so what we're going to do, go ahead and get this down. And they're just gonna see, they're not even gonna let us just pop off with it. All right, so we did the combo in one of the ugliest games. We now go to 4-0. I was gonna make this my first video, the first time we actually got the combo going off, but because it was such a huge mistake, let's save this until our actual fourth game. Oh, no one drop, no parts of the combo. Let's mulligan that down. All right, I keep this. I'll get rid of the Soul Cauldron. I don't know. Maybe it's a mistake. I guess Mono Red, Soul Cauldron, not as needed. But we're going against Mono Red when they're on the play. This is definitely going to be hard. All right, we'll keep that. We'd love a two drop, but... Actually, we probably should have got rid of it. It's going to be a little slow for us right now. Uh, so we go tap land. We get in for two. So my only justification on that last game is... I worked all day long. I, I then made a video to post the day of the release. Then I edited the video. Then, you know, I, I did everything before that. And now I'm playing my second deck of the day, already late, already pretty tired. So that's my only excuse on that huge boneheaded play on that last one. All right, so hit me for four. We now have a good blocker. Okay. Parts of our combo are starting to be assembled. Let's just keep attacking in. I mean, I think this is almost I have to block situation though. Oh, this is gonna be ugly. If they have five damage. Yeah, they got the five damage. So that's six dropping us to six. No, that's not as good. We really need that land though. All right, we'll go right here. We need to toss you because we need to find the land. If we're able to double drop, then we have something. Ah, good game. Yeah, I just got run over there by Mono Red. Not, not much of a game. So. If we were on the play, maybe we could have done something slightly different, but that still would have been a really hard one. All right, here we go. Let's get right back on the saddle. We were 4-0, and then we dropped to 4-1. and We kind of, I guess, did the combo once. I mean, it, it was assembled. They recognized it. They didn't let me actually pop off with it, which is the nice thing is why I always like to do combo decks when they do the early access is because technically the person's not supposed to scoop. All right. So I think I'm going to go one drop, two drop, and then we get a little extra exploring going. Very interesting. Okay. Let's see if we... Slesnia Enchantments... Yep, Slesnia Enchantments. All right, those are 
Good draws, though. You would... Oh, boy. I would love to just leave out the counter, though, wouldn't I? Yeah, this could be painful. Wow. I mean, we got ourselves some nice ramp. So all we have to do now is hold off a turn from this ossification. I mean, it's not the worst ossification in the world, right? You're just gonna get a one, one. Before I was thinking if this thing was gonna be a three, three and you take this, that would have really hurt. But right now I think I can live with it. And then it gives us the opportunity. We'll have six lands, okay. We can still ossify, not gonna do it. So all you have is a 2-2. Two, two. All right, now, now we're talking. Use our map. Another land, wow. Okay, now we could pass and we could counter something for up to three. And there's no Cavern of Souls, so we know we're ready for it. They can't pay the three, so we want to get rid of that. Pay zero. Confirm. Target creature. Their creature. Get out of here. Calyx is going to just start making things crazy. Now, they still have the ossification now and doubling in effect. So that could have been a problem. Okay, Spirited Companion. And they're going to draw the extra card off of this. We really got to get moving here. That's good. You don't want to put that out. How do we want to decide to come in? We still have our bounce spell. We could bounce the naturalist, which I kind of like. Let's attack first. Let's see how they decide to block. And then we could bounce the Weaver of Harmony. Okay. So now we're starting to grow this squad. All right, let's just end step right there. So now you can't double ossify me. You only have to pay one for that. Calyx is good. Ooh, you got the ossification. All right, that's pretty brutal. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely brutal. All right, now we're done. Ah, I guess we should have saved our Soren City here. I guess we just make the biggest creature we can. Two, four, uh, two, four, six. Do we just make it as big as possible? No, we have to actually find some answers, I suppose. Oops. Oh, okay, we get to put everything out there. All right.
I mean, yeah, we swing in this way. They're just about to hit for just too much. Hate to go 4-0 and then go into a slide like this. So that's 10. So I could double block to kill another. Jeez. All right. And the Weaver. That's now 11. <laughs> all right, all right. Good game, good game. Too, too much firepower there. Once they start getting the Reign of Truth, just nothing we could do on it. Yeah. We, we just don't have enough to block that. 21, that's 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We had exactly 21. We would have lost everybody and been exactly zero, so. All right, we're going first. Eh, not the greatest hand, right? A little too much mana for us. At least we have our one drop. We could do a little searching. If it's a land, right, we get to at least draw it. Uh, we'll take you, because then we could go schooner, and then we could pay two. All right, schooner. Hmm. Is it? I'm feeling this could be a new deck. I have not seen a whole lot of is it unless, okay, so now they're also going white. So we play this. Want to see what they have for us? Because we want the... All right. We could counter that. Do we care about count? You know what? Let's just counter it. You know what? No, I do want to counter it. Let's pay one. Let's put it right here. Okay, so swing in for three. Find another land. And now we could go exploring a little harder next turn. So it's probably a little bit more of a control deck. Lightning Helix, nice. Ooh. All right, let's go find some stuff. Yes. And yes. Crew. Crew you. Okay. All right, now we're now we're in decent shape here. Unless they wrath us right now. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, that was brutal. Get out of here. Take you. Crew it. So nice thing here is the schooner is still able to do some work. But we have no counter spell now. And losing our hex catcher was huge if we could have just had the thing flipped up. One more turn is all we needed. All right, pass. I think we draw the card. So I don't want things exiled. That's the key. So if you wander an emperor, they're gonna get rid of our schooner right now. Another deep root, huh? 
I'm gonna say we don't need that. Ooh, loving this. See, see their split. We have our soaring city. Hold on. We have all four. Okay. So choose a pile and put it into your hand. So we choose pile two. They get a four, four. And we're just gonna bounce it. And that worked out beautifully for us. We get the damage in, right? All you got was an Aganjo. Now you're forced to Ratha here again. And then we got a Schooner that's gonna be able to swing in again. Okay, Sunfall. They don't have the mana for it. Too bad we don't have our creature land out. Okay. So here we go. Let's build up this battlefield again. So we're gonna hit him for three. And we're presenting basically like lethal on this board for next turn. Nope, we could do better. So we're forcing a couple board wipes here in a row, right? You need a board wipe and you need to be able to activate this incubate token. All right, so you need to have a wrath and then the game is gonna be over though. Oh, lightning Helix, nice. So you get to gain three life. So you're gonna go to five, but it's not enough. Good victory. We had back-to-back -back losses there and just a, a nice solid victory on that one. Welcome back, and we ended up going five and two, so pretty successful, but we started off four and oh, and we were just blitzing through things, and then we hit a little slide and got that final victory at the end. Now, the deck overall felt very good to me. We didn't get that combo off as much as possible, and that's the idea. You want a deck that has the bonus of doing a combo, but still can be very competitive without that combo, and it's all about these counter spells. Repulsive Mutation, absolutely loved it. Now, granted, we had one of the most bonehead plays with it. They had a cavern souls we can't counter their creature and yet we kept firing it off i just totally forgot about that late at night right here long day at work okay but totally boneheaded play but this still was an all-star of a card pair that then with your hex catcher and being able to counter all their spells and that's how we were able to beat that control deck right they tried to sunfall us we counter it we come back we finish them off we only though got that combo off with our having the two researchers and our pilgrimage one time so not all that successful one in seven is not great i thought it would happen a little bit more especially if you end up in some of those grindier games this might be a deck though that's better suited for best of three best of three is a little bit slower of a format you're going to go a little bit later in the game and then the fact that you're going to have all sorts of counter spells is going to give you a little bit longer to find out and figure out this kind of combo and find all the pieces with that said hide in plain sight it was kind of cool, yeah, getting a couple two twos for four, but this is just not what you would think it is. This is not the Coco that people think, okay? Collected Company actually puts those things into play. We don't then have to pay the mana cost to be able to flip them up. It's also done at instant speed. Hide in plain sight did dig us a little bit, but it really wasn't helping us find that combo. I think the better plan then, let's just go ahead and ditch those, and I'm gonna add one of each, kind of my initial thoughts. I think that's gonna be a little bit better. We don't wanna mess with the one drop spot you want to make sure you have enough one drops in fact you would love even more but i want some type of explore mechanic with it there are other merfolks there's a flyer in blue that you could put in for one one i just don't think it does what it needs to do we're looking to, to try and find this combo piece and that won't necessarily help I could see maybe adding a third conductor because this thing could actually get quite large and good. But the fact it's legendary, I still like the two. I like this distribution. I don't think this is gonna be some type of tier one deck, but I definitely think it could be a tier two. So for that reason, I'm gonna say, as far as what Jitsu belt this deck deserves, this is a purple belt. It has a infinite combo possibility, plus it's fairly strong. I don't think we could push it up into brown belt and definitely not a black belt. It's gonna get you some wins. We did five and two 
to today, which is decent, but I think it's probably going to settle somewhere around 50-50, but I would love to hear from you though. Have you tried this in best of three? I think with a really good sideboard, this thing would be very interesting in a slightly slower format. It might be a little bit too tricky to actually go up against domain, but maybe not. You might be able to get these pieces off with enough counter spells, but Cavern of Souls is going to be a big downside of it. If that domain style deck, if they're able to call Angel and then get their attracts out anyway, that's when we're going to run into trouble. We're not going to be able to get through that. Yes, you, if of course you get the combo. Yeah, if you have a million one ones, of course, you're going to be able to finally get through. But I think those matchups were still going to be hard. And that's why I'm going to have to give this thing a purple belt. But it was an absolute ton of fun. And I can't wait to really tweak with this one a little bit more. I think this thing actually has some legs. Anytime you get an infinite combo, my ears perk up. And I'm very curious, how can we make this thing more competitive when we don't hit the combo? And also, how can we make that combo happen more frequently? So let me know in the comments, little changes you think I should make. Have you seen other people play with it? What things have they been doing with it as well? Now, one big thing that people will say about this deck, why did I not go with my own Cavern of Souls and things like that? Yeah, I understand it should go in there. I just really wanted to make sure my Repulsive Mutation was going to always pop off, okay? So typically with this deck, I would drop two forests and I would drop two islands. So before anybody yells at me about that one, I understand that we have those great lands out there. And I know if I took out two and two, I'm still probably hitting the Repulsive Mutation. I'm still hitting the Schooner. I still have a nice land balance, but I just really wanted to make sure. And I wanted to see, especially if we wanted to keep it a little bit more budget friendly for those who don't have the Cavern of Souls. And especially if you're talking about paper, I think Cavern of Souls, I don't, I, it's something like a $70 card or maybe I'm off, maybe it's a $40 card. I don't know, but pretty expensive. That was the only reason I decided not to put it in this version. Of course, future versions, I will put them in there, but I don't like all the di different lands, the ones that you could choose a creature type besides that, because I want to make sure I have enough islands and forests. I want to hit that counter spell when I need to. Okay, obviously, Soul Cauldron, you could use anything for that. And then the schooner though, we need the blue. So I was just, that was my big concern. That's why I did it this way. So let's go ahead now and do our pack opening. All right, let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at the first card. So what we have here is we have this art series. So we got 20 of 49. Let's take a look at what we actually got. Oh, I like it. All right, I do love this art right here. And go, ooh, one of my favorites. I just, I just love foils. I know some people hate them. I know Jim Davis, one of my favorite content creators. He always talks about, he wants all the basics, but I love myself a foil land. All right, so not standard leader here, but we have Tragic Slip. So I don't know. I, I never actually played with this card. I don't know if it's even any good. Somebody have to let me know. And not bad. Okay, we got a Surveil Selesnia Land. Going for a few bucks, so some decent value. And then, oh, we got one more rare here. Not the best one in the world. Didn't really uh, excite either in the pre-release. We'll kind of just go through these. We got another foil. And so these cards, what I'm going to be doing with them is I have my pre-release box. That pre-release box, you get six packs, you open up, you make a sealed deck. Okay, I also have a friend who gave me theirs. So that's two boxes I have with six packs each. I then won. I went 3-0 in the event. So I won six packs for that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three of those packs in one of the boxes, three of the packs in the other. So essentially, it's going to be nine packs of cards that you're going to get and I'm going to give some type of giveaway. I don't know yet what it's going to do or we're going to do some type of competition. It's going to be some type of weekend uh, Kumite event we do. I don't know. Shout out in the comments. Give me some different ideas. But all these cards will be shipped off to somebody for either winning some Kumite by, by doing some just type of giveaway that we do, some type of challenge. I haven't really figured out exactly what, but I know some of you out there, you love playing in paper. I like doing giveaways. I like trying different things. We have the weekend Kumite. I give out six packs for the winner of those on the weekends as well. So we do all sorts of fun things. I think this is just another way to kind of give back and give things to all of you, excite you. It probably will have to be limited though to the US because I'm going to have to ship these all out. So just keep that in mind when you actually put these out there. I'm probably not shipping out there to Australia or in Europe. We'll, we could double check the cost on it, but the idea is hopefully it shouldn't cost too much to be able to ship it within the US. And if you enjoy different things like these, fun little giveaways, trying different sort of content, make sure you check out my other videos and stay tuned for tomorrow where we're going back into best of one and I'm playing a deck I'm really hyped for, really excited for, and is super budget friendly. So until then, never forget, you're an ace.